Hi this is Gary with MacMost.com. Let's take a look at using the keys along the top of your Mac's keyboard. MacMost is brought to you thanks to a great group of more than a thousand supporters. Go to MacMost.com slash Patreon. There you could read more about the Patreon campaign. Join us and get exclusive content and course discounts. Now some Macs have the touch bar at the top, that's the little narrow touch screen. And of course that can be customized in a number of ways. I'm only dealing with here the Macs that have physical keys along the top row. Now if you look at the top of your Mac keyboard you should see a row of keys that have special symbols at the top and F1, F2, F3, and so on under that. These are called the Function Keys or F Keys. They actually do two separate things much like the rest of the keys on your keyboard. For instance the A key if you press it by itself will type a lowercase a. But if you hold the modifier key Shift and then type A you'll get an uppercase A. The keys at the top of your keyboard are the same except instead of using the Shift key you use the FN or Globe key that's on your keyboard. Older Mac keyboards have an FN key. Newer Mac keyboards have a key that has both FN and a Globe symbol on it. What the keys at the top of your keyboard do depends on whether you're holding that modifier key down. For instance without holding the FN key down pressing the first one may send an F1 to your Mac. But with the FN key pressed down you may be sending the trigger to lower the screen brightness. These two different things are called either functions. F1, F2, F3 are functions. These are also called just F keys. Or they are special features keys which are things like screen brightness, volume control, playback controls, and others. Now unlike the Shift key which always takes a lowercase letter and makes it an uppercase letter the FN key toggles these function keys one way or the other. There's a setting for this and in macOS Ventura it moved to a new location. It's in System Settings and if you go to Keyboard look for the button Keyboard Shortcuts. Click that and then in the list here on the left there's Function Keys. Click that and you'll see the one setting there is to toggle whether the F1, F2, etc. keys are used as standard function keys or whether they're used as special feature keys. Whichever way you have this toggled holding the FN key will do the opposite. So if I leave it on here then pressing F1 will produce an F1. What does F1 do? Well that depends on which app you're using. F1, F2, and F3 and all those F key signals can be used as keyboard shortcuts in various apps. And different apps will use them in different ways. Some apps won't use them at all. For instance here in Pages if I go to the Format sidebar and I look at Styles I can go to a style, select this, and then set a shortcut for that key. So I can set the subtitle style to be F7. You'll see it appear there. So now in Pages here I can select some text and I can press F7 and quickly change that style. So now since I have that switch turned on I need to use the FN or Globe key to access the special features. And where you'll find that key depends on which keyboard you have. On smaller Mac keyboards it's in a very convenient location at the bottom left hand corner. But on the extended keyboards for some reason Apple still has it at the top right to the right of the Delete key which isn't very convenient when you want to use it a lot. If I press and hold that key down and press F1 that will mean screen brightness lowered. F2 is screen brightness increased. F10 is Mute, F11 is Volume Down, and F12 is Volume Up. Now if I find I rarely ever use the Function Keys but use Special Features Keys like adjusting the volume all the time then I may want to go into System Settings and change this setting so that I can more easily access those special features. So now with this turned off I can adjust the brightness by just pressing those keys, adjust the volume by just pressing those keys no modifier key is needed at all. And if I ever do want to type F1 or F7 or something I can still hold the FN or Globe key down to do that. So it's really a matter of personal preference as to whether you want this setting turned on or off. I think that users of a lot of Pro apps that have tons of keyboard shortcuts and make a lot of use of those function keys probably want this on so they can type F1, F2, F3, and so on very easily and then have to hold down the FN key when they want to adjust volume or screen brightness. But if you don't use apps that make use of those F keys then you may want to have this turned off so you have easy access to all those special functions. Now the special functions for F3, F4, F5, and F6 vary depending upon which Mac you have. For instance on my brand new MacBook Air 
the special feature for the F4 key is Spotlight. But on my older extended keyboard F4 is Launchpad. So if I press F4 here it brings up Launchpad. So you have to look at your Mac's keyboard to see exactly what those keys do. And also I found that sometimes if you have the switch turned on you can't access those special features at all. For instance if I have this toggled on on my new MacBook Air in Mac OS Ventura and I hold the Fn or Globe key down and then press F3, F4, F5, or F6 none of the special features actually work. But if I turn this off and I use those keys without the Fn or Globe key then all of the special features for those four keys will work just fine. And keep in mind all of those things have alternative keyboard shortcuts as well. For instance if I go to Launchpad and Dock here you see I can set a keyboard shortcut for Show Launchpad. If I go to Mission Control the default is Control Up Arrow but I can modify that. Do Not Disturb On and Off can be set to any keyboard shortcut you want as well. And for Spotlight the default is Command Space. Now I can actually use the F keys as shortcuts too. So a lot of times you can set the same key to do the same thing whether or not you're holding down the Fn key. So for instance with this turned on if I press the F4 key on my Mac Extended Keyboard it does nothing. Fn in that key will bring up Launchpad. But I could go to Launchpad and Dock here and then select Show Launchpad, turn it on and I'm going to set the key to F4. So now I get Show Launchpad when I hold Fn and F4 down as a special feature function but I also get Launchpad when I just press F4 by itself. If you can't remember which way you have that switch toggled and you don't want to check right now you just want to actually do the function then you can just try pressing that key. Like press F4 and see if it does the special feature indicated on your keyboard. If it doesn't then hold the Fn or Globe key down and press F4. Now one good reason to have this turned on is that you can use the F keys as keyboard shortcuts all by themselves which is different than letter keys. Letter keys need a modifier key to be used as a keyboard shortcut. For instance if I go into App Shortcuts here and I add a keyboard shortcut say I want to have easy access to using uh, the superscript menu item in Pages. So I set this up like that. The keyboard shortcut could be set to say Command Option S but I couldn't set it to just S. However I can set it to something like F7 all by itself. Just one key to press. But in addition to that you can also use modifier keys. So I could use F7 as superscript but maybe Command F7 as subscript. So there's a look at using the keys along the top of your Mac's keyboard. Hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video click the thumbs up button below to let me know. I publish new tutorials each weekday. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out.